Excuse how I look in this vlog. I was so sick, guys. I'm about to go to the hair shop. And I was like, wait, am I really about to do my hair to go and buy some hair? Who be trying to impress? Nobody. We don't live around here. Well, we do, but nobody re well, people do know me now. It's not self. Either way, we're gonna run up on packs looking like dish. That's right, baby. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I was supposed to take you with me last time. That was a complete utter flop. This time I got you. Kinky hair. Kind of matches, right? These are looking a bit scraped. I don't really want one that's curly. I want one that's kind of like got a bit of a kink to it. Mm. This looks like it would match my hair a lot better than the ones up there. Yeah, this might have to be it. Decisions, decisions. So this one's a 4C corkscrew, and this one's 4C coily. I think I'm done with the coily life. I think I'm gonna go with the corkscrew, you know. From the shops you know what? i'm actually gonna do a primark haul a tiny mini one in the middle of this so i actually bought i was supposed to buy two things but clearly it didn't end up that way so i did still need more hangers even though i've just gone to buy 10 hangers i still needed more so I got 10 more hangers. Happy window. And they're the ones that have the lower bit there, so I can hang pants and jeans in there. And scrotes and stuff. I ended up seeing this in the you know you're in the queue of prime up here. Yeah? They catch you slipping, they know exactly what they're doing. They put all their little extra little things there, like hair kits and hair bags and shit. Knowing that you're gonna end up picking up things. Okay, half of the things I brought. I bought it in the queue. Prime out you won this battle. 
because you can't be slipping in the queue big up yourselves um so first i saw a lady in front of me touching this and i just broke mine like the handle just came out of the last one i have and it's been stressing me and then i thought well this is next to it and it's only 90 pence not even a pound 90 piece i was like well right so i was in the queue and there were these girls walking past and i was looking at their lashes and they were busted but I don't know why I still looked at them and missed lashes and I thought I do like the strips but I feel like whenever you put strip lashes on it doesn't matter how nice they are when you look down you see that line you just have two big <laughs> you can't hide you can't hide them two things you know what I mean so I thought it's been a while since I actually did individuals on myself and to be honest it's probably because I can't be bothered so i got these three-way ones so it's like fake russians basically and they're only one pound fifty literally they had different variations they had one in the round packet but the lashes to me they looked a little bit thinner and i tilted them this way so i could see what you're actually going to end up seeing i literally tilted them this way to see what you would see when they're on your eyes and this batch looked thicker to me personally than the round ones. If you know, then please let me know below if I'm wrong. Um, so this is something I'm quite excited about. I love beauty products. <laughs> I love them. I love trying out new things. I love just, I just love them. So I saw this in the queue. Not even in the queue at the till when I was literally about to pay. And I had to say to my mind, like, I'm so sorry. Can you add this, please? Because this looks kind of interesting. So with primers, I'm used to having primers in a tube. In a tube. That's it. I was going to say, or, or in a, no, just in a tube. That's just what I'm used to. But this looked really, even though it's Primark, to me, it's giving luxury. It's giving, I want you on my, on my sink. You know what I mean? It's giving oil of oil, eh? But not. So I thought, let me just grab this, £4.50. Um, this is a vitamin enriching moisturising primer. So I thought, let's give you a try. It says prep and perfect. I didn't really have a lot of time to read this in the queue because I was already at the till. And I just asked my man, can I just quickly run over there and grab the hangers and he let me do it. So I didn't want to take the mic and take long reads. Then can I just read this, please? And then see if I want it, like, just wait there, like, joke thing so i grabbed it looked at it. it says with oil with oat oil and shea butter to help support the skin's moisture barrier contains vitamin e c and i was like cool let me just give it a while so i will definitely let you guys know how i feel about this primer but the fact that the primer is in a pot i just think it's cute the container is weighty it's a glass a glass one a glass pot which i love um it's just giving like i said weighty luxury so yeah i can't wait to try this um i felt like okay so let's get let's get to the whole the whole like the meat of the sandwich because right now i'm playing with the bread so the whole point of me going out obviously was for the hair products right because i was about to get distracted here so as you guys know if you've watched the video and not just randomly skipped to here, which would probably never happen. Um, I got these clippings. Now, I'm a bit scared that they're going to be like, hella short, but I don't think they actually will be. Like this girl, they're reaching her shoulders. I don't feel like she has a bigger head than me, but somehow on here, yeah, it looks like it will fall a bit longer on me. Even if it falls to this length, I'm good with that. Like, so it says this is before, this is after she's so pretty but um yeah so i want that <laughs> so anyway so i might do a video playing around with these because i'm not gonna lie i'm usually quite good with a, with a set of clippings usually i've made them myself but i just thought i hate sewing them on hate the process i did try to do that a couple weeks ago 
it stressed me out the needle was too big for the holes on the clips and then i found my other clip i mean my other needle at nanny's house the other day after i've done this whole stress thing the hair wasn't good quality i just thought you know what it's a different color to my hair as well everything was wrong so i was contemplating this morning like should i grab these or should i not and i decided i'm going to grab them so maybe i should unbox these let's do it so let's see the brand actually it's called big okay big beautiful hair i'm guessing that's the name of the brand though i liked it okay so look oh, okay this is so cute i haven't really seen this on like a wig or anything like the back of the wig boxes don't usually have like what you do underneath and stuff so this is pretty cute so they braided it down left their leave out there so they braided the back down and left there's something i usually used to do um like that um oh they've got red as well okay girl um here they've even got i like this this is very detailed i have to say this is hard i like that and this is a smaller brand, I'm guessing. So definitely going to tag them because I really, really love to support. Okay, so it's Utre. 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 But um, yeah, so this is like the... This is how I used to do my clippings when I made my last set of clippings. That got me through like a sick summer. Oh my gosh. The man then will earn it when I had them clippings, bruv. I had two sets of clippings. One set of straight ombre one set of curly ombre and i'd just do whatever i felt whenever i woke up and it was a great summer i'll tell you that it was a great one so i'm trying to have a good one feeling like having a good one so uh -huh. so here you can see she's braided her hair down and then she's clipping the clips on obviously got a leave out of the front you know um okay so let's check out the actual hair and my hair is not really i used to think my hair was jet black and i don't know my mom's hair is jet black and i'm guessing that's where i got it from i always just assumed because i'm very dark dark features just dark chocolate i just thought like i'm gonna give jet black hair so got this hair right and i'll try and show you on this little strand I haven't got, well actually I do have that little brush, but it's not the type of brush that I was usually used to define my curls. But I'll just show you guys now. Right outside, PT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with a girl side, all the niggas brown, I had it done. So, I'm gonna watch the time, I'm outside. Let me put it, let me do the hair, the curls will start to define. Imagine I've really worked that in because I really have not bothered. But are you mad? Are you mad? Are you dumb? This is good. No one's going to know. Right, I'm just, I'm so gassed now. I'm just, I just ripped off this whole hair net. Mm, I feel like I'm coming back. Back to life right so you got this little little shits here right outside pt two turn baby girl you know me still with the dolls that i grew beside all the niggas bounce i had it done gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by i'm outside in an amg right outside pt Two turn baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas round me, right at it, guy. Gotta watch the time, cause it's fine right now. I just got a shorty up. That's that. <laughs> that is that. Now, let's close the product before we spill it. This is like gold to me. This product is like gold. And it's not cheap. I got this little hat. Luckily, they had one with an S on it. They have one with like T's and J's. Just needed a quick cap just in case I was having a bad hair day. And then I was in the queue. And I saw this and I said, swear down 350. Swear down. All right. And yeah, luckily they had my letter. So I was like, it's meant to be. 
it's actually meant to be. I used to have a new era collection, if you know me. I think I had like 20 new era caps. My brother gave me 14 and I bought the rest just over time from big girling and stuff. But yeah, I've lost every single one of those during my moves, which is so sad, but don't worry. God will replace. Right, so yeah, I've got my little fitted now. I don't want to be low key. Um, and this is something I'm so happy about. I needed some. So if you know, you know, if you've seen the other video, or if you're my friend, you know, I used to love off Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and I still do. That's my girl, Sarah Michelle Gellar, bad girl. So she used to always wear like brown leather things, like brown leather jacket, brown leather pants, like latex, snakeskin leather pants, like, <laughs> yeah, so like just, oh. The looks were always giving and they were always giving like earthy tones in terms of like the wardrobe of Buffy. It was earth tones and just dark. It was always night. Like so, I had a pair of beautiful brown snakeskin pants. They were shiny. They were amazing. If I stepped in a dance in them, yeah everything was getting a lot tough in them pads but i might insert a photo but i might not um <laughs> but anyway so saw these and i say who hey, because i was like i went around i saw the pants section but you know in primary they always got just the plain jeans plain leggings you know like, mm. they had some like cycling set and i was like oh that's quite cute four pound like i was like i don't know the quality i was like i don't know so I went around and I was like, I'm not satisfied. I wanted a pair of nice little cute pants for work. So I went back to the section. I'm walking around the pants section for like 10 minutes. Like, like I'm disgusted. Yeah. It's all just the plain stuff you see every season. The plain jeans. You know the jeans I'm talking about. The skinny ones or they've got the, the, the baggy thing. So I'm like looking like they need to have something, something. So I look again. You know when you look in the fridge and you're like, I'm hungry. Is there food? nah there's no food in my yard like i can't be bothered to go shop or something or back when you're a kid you're like oh you're broken and you go back and you look in the fridge again as if food's gonna appear but today food appeared i look back at the skinny section i said skinny jeans yeah, yeah. i said what's this at the bottom shelf it said coated i said yo i said no come in coat the coated pants section I liked it. Coated, skinny, high waist. I said, yeah. So, saw a pair of like red ones. I was like, I thought they were the only ones left. And I was like, I wanted black originally. Um, but they had even better. So, obviously, I have not replaced, like, I obviously, I have not replaced my beautiful brown, shiny snake skin pants. But this gonna satisfy me at least for now i saw another pair of like same shade brown baggy pants which will keep with a little pocket on the side but i just didn't get them anyway so here we go these beautiful brown coated pants mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's just, you know, the life, I guess. And my last name's Brown, so you know how I get around. I'm in love with these already. I already know. I already know. Obviously, I didn't try them on because, you know, kind of mad too. Um, what else did we get? Oh, yeah. I need to get some other stuff. Okay, so. My edges, let's talk about it just one last time. I fucked up. Fucked up. When I had them brown braids when I first moved here, I put them in. Sorry, I've got a cold, as I said. I put them in when I moved here because I was like in transition mode, you know, so I'm going back and forth. Like, and I'm moving, and I don't know, like, and don't know where I'm going to be, if I'm going to be here tomorrow, living here, or in a month, I just, you know? So, 
it was not the time for my hair to just be needing to be styled it was not that time but the braids oh lord my little hairline man but you know what the wickedest thing is about about this glory to god god always brings back the hairline for me like and when my hairline is full full it looks so peng i'm sorry it actually looks peng when i do my baby hairs so we're gonna get it back fully in jesus name because right now it's giving struggle so i got you know this if you're black you know i'm sure you know the dr miracles temple nate balm temple and nate balm so basically the set if you don't know the set is with this you rub it into your edges and you rub it around like all your hairline and you feel it tingling for me whenever i've used this after like two weeks i start to notice a difference um and i just haven't bothered to get it which is so dumb of me i've been sitting here struggling like i should have just got this Ooh. so that's that can't wait and with the clippings now i want to be having like playing around with things so it's more than time it's been time so in packs i got this for 4.69 and now for the little finale things so quick story time today i was in boots i should have filmed it but my battery was a little bit low um in boots today i saw these i think it was three or four girls i think it's four girls maybe it's three and just from looking at them, I said, wow. I don't even, I'm not even like that. I don't even judge people from how they look. But this situation, yeah. Because they were so loud and thinking they were so lit. I had no choice but to look at them. And then when I saw what I saw, I said, wow, you don't, shouldn't be this loud, you know. Like, you're having anyway. So remember that show, Smug Marry Avoid? I don't know. Do you remember the show, Smug Marry Avoid? When they'd have the girls and they like wear mad extensions or mad tan, like they were put on like four layers of tan and then like four layers of eyelashes and then like seven eyeliners and shit. It was that, I swear, I'm not exaggerating. It, they would have been on every one of them. Every, like, they were this color, but I know that they weren't that color. Is it making sense? I said, where, where did they land from? Mad thing. Mad thing, anyway. So they're being loud, like, boots, yeah? And I'm like, but I'm like, something's going on, I'm going to watch. And then another lady was watching, and I was watching her, and we were looking at each other, and I'm looking at another black lady, and we're just all in a little frio, like. So then, as they're walking by, I see two security guards walking behind them. And they're like, yeah, 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 we stole this. I stole loads of stuff. And I'm like. And then two Donnies behind it. And I say Donnies so you can understand. They were two Utes. Like, anyway, walking behind them slowly. With the, and then one goes on the speaker. One older looking guy. And I'm thinking, they're going to catch them. I'm going to see them do the starfish shit yeah, on the floor. So I'm just watching, waiting for like something. Nothing nothing happened they let them walk out the damn shop with the fucking kids it was even though, like it was mad I, I thought no 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 they're waiting because i know that rule sometimes in some shops it's like you haven't stole until you've left the shop with the product so like in selfridges and these places they'll watch you and let you think you've actually got out the fucking shop and then once you get a bit like two meters they're like yeah let's get them now because now they've actually stole um so i'm thinking maybe they have nothing None. and then one lady was like if that was a black person i'm not gonna lie they would have been fucked up and i was like you know what it's true it's true i had to say you know what you're probably actually right you know because if it was a black person stealing it wouldn't be you know letting just following them out letting them walk because it's like a bunch of like three blonde women it's just i don't know and they're in their little heels with their little skirts on it's like yeah we took the thing but anyway all of that to say this <laughs> So, I've been trying to... So, my friend Lauren puts me onto some things sometimes, man. So, one day she was like... Oh, sorry, that smell. Ah! Oh. 
And I was like, fuck is that, bruv? That smells nice. She was like, Ted Baker. I was like, um, I don't have Ted Baker money. You know, like, cost of living. It's not that time. I'm just adjusting right now. So I was like, cool, good for you, babes. And she's like, no, no, no. But she can see from my face, like, she knows. I was saying, okay, good for you, baby. I can't afford that, but enjoy that scent. Um, and she was like, no, I you can get it in boots for three pounds something. I was like, what? She's like, I was like, Ted Baker, three pounds. And I got it. I bet. Oh, oh she can smell from the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. I wish you could smell through the phone. Please, if you go to Boot Share, go to the deodorant section I think it was in. Because I looked at the perfume section, it was in there. But this is amazing. This smell. This smell. Honey. Honey. I should have bought two. I should have bought two. And the bottle is so cute. It reminds me of. What does it remind me of that? It reminds me of a watch that I used to have. Okay, random. It actually reminds me of a watch, a Ruby watch that mom got me years ago that I lost. But, um, love it. I am so happy. So, yeah, it's the Raspberry and Orange Blossom Body Spray from Ted Baker. But it's so nice. It doesn't even smell like a body spray. I was hoping it would be an oud. <laughs> um, love it. Someone went to Boots and I asked them, can you just grab it in Boots? And... I was praying, please let them have it. They didn't have it, she said. So I was like, okay, cool. I went into boots. I think I went to the boots in... I went to some boots. They didn't have it. I was sad. And then, yeah, today I was like, let me just try one last time. Third time's the charm. So, yeah, I'm happy with my products. I'm happy with my things I got. Very, very, very happy with the little trinkets. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't wait to play with these clippings. It's a new chapter for me, honey. It's a new chapter. But I'm actually going to end this video here because I've been waffling, haven't I, for a long time. I don't want my weekly vlogs to be too long. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Speak to you guys soon, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely week.